So if you're new to Home Assistant and getting started with automations other than just turning the light on and off can be a little bit daunting at first. And hopefully in this video, I'm going to show you something which you can use in Home Assistant that will make that life a little bit easier for you. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. So over the last 12 months, uh, probably a little bit longer I would say, the Home Assistant team, you know, the, that team of developers which is uh, cranking out the code, um, really has been hard at work trying to make the whole user experience, the, the UI, uh, everything around automations easier uh, for kind of like the, the new users to Home Assistant to get to grips with. Um, you know, previously you were having to dive into uh, YAML files, you had to understand the syntax for that. And, it, you know, something that in your head might seem relatively straightforward to go and achieve actually could end up being a bit of a nightmare uh, in, in order to get that working properly. So as good as these UI changes are and the ability to go and create your automations is an awful lot easier, what, what if you just wanted something that was ready-made, something which... You know, potentially has been tested by hundreds if not thousands of users within the Home Assistant community. Well this is where blueprints come in and these are pre-made automations. You know, I would say these are community based. You know, They are something which may well meet your needs straight away. Um, you know, certainly if you haven't got the time or you, know, you haven't got the experience to be able to deep dive into automations and, and kind of like tinker around and get those working exactly as you want them. A blueprint out of the box, uh, you know, they tend to be very configurable and for most people they will probably do exactly what you need them to do. But the great thing with blueprints is that you can reuse them over and over again and they just sit alongside your normal automations and uh, you know if you've got multiple rooms with, with the same kind of devices around but you want to set up different uh, kind of uh, automations with those, then you can just reuse that blueprint over and over again. So whilst you can see a list of your installed blueprints in Home Assistant, you don't really kind of, uh, you know, install them the same way as you would do with uh, integrations or maybe, uh, you know, using something in Hacks. You have to go off to the Blueprint Community Exchange uh, within the, the Home Assistant uh, website, the forum, and uh, you can just click on the button there to actually go and install it into your Home Assistant uh, instance. It's a pretty straightforward process, but what it does allow you to do is it does, you know, it means that you have to go and read all the details basically about that uh, that blueprint and what it actually it sets out to achieve. So I'll put links down below in the description for the uh, the Home Assistant blueprint exchange if you've never been there before uh, you know it's it's something you know there's an absolute ton of them there it's a good good read if you want to go through and see what's available and I'll also put links to all of the blueprints that I go through in this video today so let's take a look at the top five blueprints that I've been using with home assistant and uh, we'll start off with the first one which is center light by blackie that's his uh, Kind of like his, his, his name on the uh, community forums um, but this one this is probably a really good one if you have a PIR and you know you want to be able to control your lights within a space um, you know based upon your presence and things like that rather than you having to talk to something all the time or press buttons or something like that one of the real advantages of home automation is not having to do the actions yourself actually you know building things out to actually automate it for you um, so you know kind of having these presence controlled lights uh, is, is a real advantage now um, you'll see a ton of videos on youtube about um, you know how people can suddenly be left in the dark with their, their pirs and stuff like that because they don't detect any movement or any any of that kind of stuff and this um, this particular blueprint aims to help with that so you can set up it's just extremely configurable you know you can set up um, you know schedules and how long it's it, it kind of like stays on for depending um, you know looking for motion and all that kind of stuff um, I think you know this is a good starting point you know if you're getting challenged or for you know you're finding it challenge challenging to uh, to kind of control your lights and get that automation just right this is probably worth having a good look at because 
you know, it's really well thought out. There's been a lot of good feedback um, by the Home Assistant community. Um, you know, it's it's well developed, and uh, you know, I'm using it within my uh, this office space, and um, you know, it it works a treat. You know, I've just got uh, a, a presence device, which you know, spoiler alert, there'll be a video of that coming up on the channel shortly. Um, but you know, I've got a PIR in the top corner of the room and you know I can integrate all of these things together to basically you know not have the lights turn off on me um, when I'm in the room so you know if you want something like that that gets you up and running with that kind of automation really quickly I would definitely recommend that you take a look at that one uh, from the uh, the blueprints exchange so the next one is it's really simple it's such a time saver uh, it is a low battery level detection and notification by Gus uh, Lupitelli. Um, I hope I've said your name right there. Um, but this one is, uh, well, basically what it does is any device that you've got on your home assistant installation um, that uses batteries and reports its battery status, um, what it, you can have it do, and this is what I've got it in my uh, circumstances, is that um, it will send a notification to my Android phone to tell me which devices have got a low battery level. Now, I can set it to uh, kind of scan, um, you know, the percentage that I want the battery level. So for me, you know, I've got it set to kind of like 20%, something like that. Um, and you can also have it check on certain days as well. So, you know, you don't want it to uh, be pinging for your battery level all the time. You know, once a week for me is fine, um, but a real, uh, certainly with Zigbee devices, a really early indicator before they drop off the network and, you know, maybe any automations I've got set up with those suddenly don't work anymore because, you know, those devices become unavailable. So the next blueprint in my top five is wall panel battery management by uh, Thomas Lawrenson. Um, now, this one, you could easily set this one up in uh, automations yourself, um, but, you know, it's such a simple one. It's a, you know it's a straightforward form. Uh, you know it would it would save you doing all that kind of like messing around, I guess. Um, but basically, the idea behind this one is that you know for those of you that want to have a wall panel, you know a, a, an old um, you know iPad or something like that on the wall, um, so that you're not constantly uh, charging the panel up the battery up to a hundred percent and then letting it discharge. You know this is kind of like your battery management. Uh, as it were so um, yeah but it doesn't need to be a wall panel you know my I have a tablet uh, an old Lenovo tablet that it just sits on a stand on a desk and that's how I'm using that uh, with mine it you know it's um, the USB connect cables connected to a to a smart plug and and that's what this particular blueprint aims to achieve so you you kind of specify what the battery is for your device that you're monitoring um, you know what your charge percentage is, what your low percentage is, and what is the um, you know the device, the uh, you know the smart plug that is actually powering or controlling the, uh, the the USB charger or something like that. And then this just runs, and you know when your uh, tablet reaches one of those states, then you know it will charge or not charge. And it's as simple as that. Uh, a very quick, easy thing to do. Probably saves you a few minutes, uh, you know, other than doing it yourself. Um, but good to kind of like get that one in if you are using something like a tablet for your home assistant. So the fourth blueprint on my list, and this is something I, I just see so many times, you know, people asking the question, you know, I've got a washing machine uh, or a tumble dryer or something like that, and I want to be able to uh, determine when the, the, the program has finished on that uh, appliance. Um, you know, I've tried a a vibration sensor, you know, in a car, a vibration sensor or, you know, equivalent, something like that, or I'm using a, a smart plug. And, and the automations are, you know, yeah, in theory, they're fairly straightforward to set up, but people seem to really struggle with these. And this particular one, and apologies to the creator of this, this is, uh, this is notify or do something when uh, an appliance finishes is the name of the, the blueprint. And it's by someone called SBYX. S -S -B I'm sure that probably stands for something, but um, basically really, really straightforward. You know, you kind of specify what you want to monitor. You set in all kind of like your 
um, you know, your thresholds and things like that, and then you can have it do actions. So that could be uh, send a text message to your mobile phone. You know, your dishwasher has finished. Um, or it could be that you have different, uh, you know, if you're using LED strips in your kitchen, something like that, you can have different LED strip colors to indicate that something's gone and finished. So, um, you know, really simple, straightforward, but it covers all the bases. And, um, you know, I think if you're, if you're wanting to use that, it seems to be really common, really popular that people want to do this kind of stuff. It would definitely be worth trying this uh, blueprint before you go down the route of trying to get that automation working and you know maybe spending money on a uh, you know a vibration center and then spending money on the plug as well and yeah you, you know you're just going to waste time and money if you um, if you, you're trying to experiment uh, like that so before i get to my fifth and final blueprint well you know are you using blueprints in home assistant let me know down below in the comments is the one that I've not mentioned here that you're using that you think is absolutely amazing and everybody watching this video would benefit from using? Well, you know, share the love, drop the details down below in the comments. Um, but let's get to that fifth and final one. And this is, it's called Window Open Climber Off by Amon Reich. And basically, yeah, yeah. This is probably going to be beneficial for you if you've got air conditioning, maybe you've got a ceiling fan uh, or even a standing fan, really. Um, but you're going to need things like, um, you know, a car, a door, window sensors, stuff like that to, to really get the most out of this. But the idea behind this one is that, uh, you know, obviously you don't want to be having things like fans and air conditioning on when you open a window. So... Um, you know, if you've got, um, you know, air conditioning in, you know, maybe your kitchen area or something like that, and you go and open the windows in your kitchen, um, then you can have this go and turn off the air conditioning after a, a period of time. Um, saves that wasting electricity for doing that. You know, maybe you, you've got that in bedrooms or something like that. You can have it, um, you know, send notifications, have it c uh, call out to your smart home devices. Really, really simple. Uh, it's along the same kind of lines as, as things like the Tardo uh, thermostats, uh, you know, that people use. You know, it, it, it's got that, that clever functionality whereby, uh, you know, if you've got windows open, then it turns off the heating. So a similar kind of principle, you can get that in Home Assistant there. So that is it. That is my top five blueprints uh, for use in Home Assistant. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something there. Certainly, if you weren't aware of blueprints, then, um, you know, definitely recommend you go and have a look at those certainly if you you know you're starting off on home assistant and you want to kind of get really good uh, automation built up fairly quickly um, obviously the most flexibility you're going to get out of home assistant is uh, you know by doing it all of yourself and it's a great learning exercise as well uh, you know but sometimes not everybody's got the time to be able to do that and that's where blueprints really help you out so let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Share those blueprints if I've not mentioned one of them in this video. Um, but as always, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.